Hello painters, how are you? I hope you are hydrating this summer for those in the northern hemisphere because it's super super hot. I am making the ritual of having something to drink. Next to me it's time I paint because if I don't I can forget about drinking anything for hours. Anyway, the summer also keeps the oils quite bumpy and I like to clean my palette for a fresh start. Always with gloves, changing the thinner also. You know the pigment stays in the bottom while you can reuse the thinner over and over again. I have noticed that making these little things before starting to paint make me actually paint cleaner and it's noticeable on my painting. As you already know, for the title and the thumbnail, today I'm painting light bulbs. Such an amazing subject. I wanted to paint them for long because of the transparencies. They're like little cute glasses. But nowadays the common ones are lit and they are not that fun. So one day, the amazing Teddy Parker on Instagram, I'm sure you know her, posted this reference to paint with her. And, and it was just perfect. I made it on a rate and you guys liked it a lot and I've been requested to paint this again. So this time I have bought some of my own to have as reference and to share on Patreon as well. So today I bring you an oil painting inspired on that Tevis old reference. I use this heavy body acrylic to make the sketch. I don't mind making them a bit irregular and not perfect, you know me, but I always use a bit of time to make my sketch as easy for the painting session as possible. This time I grabbed another color and made this beautiful purple to make some corrections and final lines. I'm going to paint them one by one. My idea was repeating the same process as I did on the old digital one, but even though I try to force it, I don't know why today's reference is asking me to paint them differently. Also, with lots of colors, but not making each one from one tone. I would love to know which one do you like more. You can wait until the end to see the comparisons. The thing is, I have made several polls to debate between oils and digital, and oil is usually the winner. Months ago it was like 80-20, winning always the oils, but little by little the digital paintings have become a little more popular. And the last one I made, about some spoons, it was really close. You guys liked both similar, and now I wonder what will happen with this one. I am trying to use large brushes every time here for two reasons. First of all, I am working on my brush economy and I simply love that way it feels when you make the shapes with just a couple of brush strokes. But on the other hand, large brushes make me leave more visible gaps from the background and it really gives warmth to the painting. You can see even when using this long thin brush. I am trying to use it as a flat one. I am making it flat to remove the feel of pointy brushes. to make all the glass part first because I can use the same colors to make them more or less similar. I think this is the main difference from the old one and honestly this is exactly the opposite but it's what the painting is asking me to do <laughs> and it's fun when this happens.
I hate when I cannot finish the painting in one session but I guess this is for today. Today it was getting late and I have an important meeting tomorrow, something juicy coming that I cannot say yet. Anyway, I like to leave everything as clean as possible but the brushes will stay wrapped until tomorrow like this. This way they won't dry as much and I will be able to keep using them as normal. Hello again! Today I have started with a clean palette from Zero again and I am really thinking of making this light bulb somehow different but it wouldn't really make any sense if this is a similar type as the others. It's hard to keep your desires waiting but seriously the painting is telling me that it wouldn't be a good idea. I think that means I will make more light bulb paintings in the future, huh? Maybe I can do a simple one as a tutorial of choosing the right but rainbowish colors. Let me know in the comments. Reflections are my favorite part because you can copy what you see or you can just put random colors and it will probably work. <laughs> but at the same time, take care not to overwork it because the painting also needs empty spaces and large areas without details. It needs to breathe. And finally, the background. Making the painting in two sessions has made me used to this red. Now I have seen it for like four hours, plus the time I haven't been painting and I have also seen it. It makes me a bit sad getting rid of it, but it's okay. So I was thinking that in order to make the pinks pop, I needed to make some cool background. And this is my favorite part because you can add reflections of the objects in the table and it will look wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
Next time I will make the metallic parts before because I ended up super tired of the painting <laughs> board already of making these in two sessions and I rushed them a bit. They're nice because they are sketchy and I love it, but I think they could have been better, honestly. I will consider this a happy accident anyway because making them sketchy and fast will make the glass part to pop even more. Anyway, this is the result. I am quite happy about it, honestly. It's not bad to say it. <laughs> I will post this on Instagram with a poll to see your opinion between this painting and this old digital one. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to share your thoughts. And again, I want to credit the amazing Teddy Parker because I probably wouldn't be painting light bulbs otherwise. I hope you have enjoyed this paint with me and let me know if I should make more pics for a little step-by-step -step tutorial in the future. If you want more, follow me on Patreon and I will see you in the next video. Bye!